It's recording, right? Hello everyone, let's talk about the requirements for a U.S. citizen naturalized to immigration and the things you need. All right, so number one, birth certificate. Uh, number two, certificate of talks for couples. This is uh, attendance in family planning and pre-marriage counseling. Yeah, I got that right. Cer certificate of exams, that's number three. Uh, this will, uh, you'll be uh, doing a test for HIV 1 and 2 uh, so they will withdraw blood from you and you need to do this in order to get a certificate. Number four, certificate of health from the health department. They will ask you several questions such as, uh, such as do you drink, do you smoke, and how often do you do this? Also, um, if you do any drugs, uh, if you're diabetic, diabetic, if you have any heart conditions or any other type of issues with your body. This you should know, it's your body, you know? Uh, number five, certificate of residence or proof of residence. Now for this, you might not, uh, you might not have this, like I did, I didn't have this. So uh, just talk to uh, the person that uh, you're filling up the paperwork with and tell them your situation and be honest about it and be upfront about it. And uh, just tell them, you know, your issue, your, your scenario. Um, a letter stating you're um, single. Now, <clears throat> This is a little confusing because, you know, if you're living here for your entire life in the United States and then you go to Mexico to visit, to um, marry uh, your fiancé, it's difficult for you because you don't have any residence uh, in Mexico. So what you can do is, again, talk to the people there and be honest about it, be upfront about it, and tell them your situation and, any, and ask them any way they can help you. In some cases, you might have to go around because, again, this is like the government. And like the government in the USA, you have to be honest. But there's some ways around things. Now, if you were divorced in Mexico, then you would need this, these documents from your previous marriages. Now, if you were divorced here in the United States, you do not need these type of divorce papers for Mexico because over there, they don't, um, they don't qualify or they don't accept them. Because since you're US citizen, I mean, since you're Mexi a Mexican citizen, which you're not, you've been living here in the United States forever, they don't take that into consideration. Consideration, wow, that's a big word. Um, that's pretty much all you guys need to know for the moment. There are other requirements um, to get some of these um, certificates and if you've never been in Mexico it's a long list longer than this and I'll try to make another video for you guys to let you know what are the requirements and the steps that you guys need to take in order to um, have them um, that's a book that's a that's pretty much it for right now. Hope you guys like this information. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to um, accommodate and answer as best as possible as I can. Uh, let me know in the comment sections and I'll, I'll gladly tell you guys my story. Well, until then, you guys um, have a good one and uh, always be good to each other.
I mean, 4K. And you guys are going to see that my glasses are dirty. Plus, I need re 